Hi everyone. So we are back up in the Manistee um, just a week and a half later and you know how I said the whole hill was going to be just covered in ferns? I'll show you. In just a week and a half a ton of flowers and ferns and everything up here has just exploded. It's really amazing how fast that happens. There's this large sort of downed tree and I was trying to pull some branches off of it for firewood and I noticed this. It looks like somebody has scribbled on the tree all over with a marker. But I'm not sure what that is. It might be chew mark. I'm a porcupine. <laughs> I am looking around for that lady slipper orchid. I'm having a really hard time finding it. Um, so much of the vegetation has grown up that uh, my visual landmarks for it <laughs> have changed. This is one of our native pink lady slipper orchids. But hopefully I will be able to show you guys some cool stuff. I found it. It's still not completely fully open. Or this little top part would be straight up. But there is pink lady slipper orchid. This is the wild lupine that last time I was only able to show you the leaves. Really pretty. And lupine comes from lupus or a wolf uh, because at one point it was thought that it wolfed down all the nutrients in the soil so people didn't want it by their farm fields and stuff. But it is a legume. Um, which we now know is a nitrogen fixer. So it turns nitrogen into a form that other plants can use. So it would be actually really beneficial to have it by your farm fields. Here are those orchids I wanted to come back for. They're still not blooming. Don't the leaves, they look an awful lot like um, the Philanopsis orchids you can buy at store. A little disappointed they're not blooming yet. These tiny, tiny little orange mushrooms with the black hairs coming off at the edge are called eyelash cups. You can kind of see why. This is large flowered trillium. The flowers are a little bit faded. It's a little on the old side, one of our pretty native flowers.
and we survived 36 degrees in the tent last night. And these larch trees love acidic bogs. Their leaves are super soft. I am really excited because I found showy lady slipper orchids. I haven't seen one of these growing anywhere in Michigan since I was like four or five years old. And at the time my dad told me they're almost gone. Um, but I have found one and it's gonna be a little tricky to get to it. There it is from behind, from a distance. There are some right here that just aren't blooming yet. And they come up to my knee. And there's all of these. And a huge clump of them there. So I'm going to try to get over to there. I don't want to step on them. You can see there is an ant inside it. I think it's an ant. It's either an ant or a spider. This one is up to mid thigh. Height. They're huge and they're gorgeous and I'm so excited. It's the size of the flower. They are everywhere down in this bog. Now this one here comes up to my hip. They're so tall and gorgeous. I know I'm like freaking out about these flowers. <laughs> I just have never seen anything like this and I think I saw like one single one in the woods when I was a kid. So this is really amazing to me. stepped in the wrong spot that I thought was solid in the bog, but it was not. <laughs> so my pants and socks and everything are all wet now. There, here, the teeth on here look pretty pointy, I don't know if that's a deer, like 
doesn't seem like deer teeth. And where the nasal passages are, are like really sort of long and big. It's sort of the eye socket here. You know what kind of animal these teeth belong to? Let me know.